Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and this is going to be a spoiler-filled video, in a sense, because what we're going to try and do is find some of the hidden stuff in the Florida system, which is only available to you on the 24-7 Freelancer Universe Experience. So, if you're, if you're one who wants to go find the stuff yourself, now, don't watch this video. I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to go look at stuff. This is the kind of thing where I'm going to look for it for the first time myself. I just want to record what happens you know, for myself. The moments. It looks like there's a lot to see here. And the first thing we're going to check out, as far as patrol paths and stuff like that, probably right here. Well, there's something, obviously, something right here, too. There's so much, to, so many ways to look. We'll come back to this. But let's start. Let's start by looking through. Oh, there's a couple ways we could do this. We could do this kind of systematically and do all the rows, or we could try to follow the patrol paths. And you can say, well, following all the rows, all the rows might take a long time. Except. We've got the infiltrator. Whoa! Hello. Let's do. Let's do the. Uh, the systematic method. I've thought about it. if I find any wrecks, I'm not going to uh, harvest them because I don't have a store ship nearby, and you have to go all the way back to Texas, and I don't want to. Explore and then find a minefield and explode. We're just gonna explore. Now this ship has some nice cities. As if you saw the last video, which you likely did. You know it has it's double the normal cruise engine. And according to the description, it has enhanced sensors. So we're going to put this to all. Navy defenders. You can see some of the bases. Uh, some of them are, let's say far, that means we've already got them on the map. What this will do is it'll put us up at the far north. I'm going to go vertically, horizontally. I think horizontally. Now I'm just thinking maybe what I want to do is edit this a bit and only rather than show you like what it's like to fly across the map at extreme speed for like an hour we'll we'll do some editing and then we'll we'll put in when we find stuff this is not like a ridiculous video we could make it ridiculous but Or we could do like a super warp drive thing where it goes really fast. We'll we'll see what we decide to do in the, in, in the editing. We'll see what happens.
Okay, so what I've done, as you see, we didn't, I don't know that we have extended enhanced rate, uh, you know, sensors here because the spaceships coming up on the map are coming up at about 2.3k, which is normal. So we're going to just have to assume that we have regular old scanners, but I've, I've laid out a grid of how we're going to fly this, and that should cover everything. We're going to have to, it'll end up steering us around the suns, Warning. but we should figure out what's going reduce. on, so... A short blip to the next sector. I mean, is it possible that we'll miss stuff doing this? That there's something? Yes, but we should pick up, um, you know, patrol paths if, if they've uh, if they've built it that way. Danger! Radiation damage detected. Yeah, the, the the outcasts are coming in at about 2k, 2.3k, and then drop it off. So we take the the next stop to the next, you know, row of grid points, which the grid points, by the way, in the game aren't the same size all the time, because some systems are huge and some systems are not. So let's see. go to. I would expect to, to see something around here. Okay, Destin. What is Destin? A tiny, volcanically active moon, moon incapable of supporting life. Cinder cones will okay, explode between great plumes of sulfur hundreds of kilometers above the surface. Nothing to see here, really. And yet, yeah, isn't that... Is that at the, um, we have to, to turn off the go-to so we don't like crash into the plane here. Well, it won't, it won't let us crash into it, but we want control. Is that, um, at that, yeah, that's the, uh, control point. Okay. Let's continue on to four. There's a little planet there for you, though. Interesting side note, Destin is a city just on the edge of Florida in the Panhandle. So I wonder, nothing to see here really. Is that someone's experience with Destin? Go 
interesting stuff. Okay, so here we'll we'll go out of work for for a minute of, of you know where I'm compressing the video time wise if that works. Sometimes it doesn't detected. work. So Destin, this is I guess probably for Wikipedia or something, is a city in northwest Florida in the area known as the Panhandle, known for its Gulf of Mexico beaches and many golf courses, as well as the Destin Harbor board, Destin Harbor Boardwalk. Nature trails pass through the dunes of Henderson Beach State Park in the south where the coastline is dotted with pine and oak trees sheltering wildlife. To the west are, tall are the tall slides, waterfalls and pools of Big Kahuna's water park. So it doesn't sound like it's a, a desolate place. Not a bad place to go, really, probably. All right, that's just my, my commentary on the, the naming of the random planet. Let's scoot. Let me scooting now. Anything you can... There is a uh, there is a patrol path point here, so we'll see what's going on there. Okay, thus far. Um, I'm, I'm gonna admit, I'm a little disappointed in the, uh, I'm laid out here, so I can't, I can't just zip over here real quick. I'm a little disappointed with... The, uh, the trade, the trade uh, routes here showing us what's going on. Take go to and oh, I think my scanners would have picked up something here. It's possible not. We may have to revisit that after the systemic, you know, scanning of the thing. It, if it's a big enough system, then I could be missing stuff, and it might be just a matter of. Okay, oh, you know, we're here. We're not seeing much. Let's let's set a waypoint right there, right to the tip of that. Let's see what we can find. I'd hate to, you know, I hate to miss out on something that's obviously, you know, potentially there. We've crossed pretty close to the other ends of the uh, of the route. But you never know. When they're building the system, if they use another system as the basis, then it could be left Danger. over from that. Radiation damage detected. Anything on the scanners at all. We should see something in the right now. No? Let's 
just patrol. There's stuff here. I mean, there's ships here, so they are patrolling it. And the end result of the patrol path is just a patrol path. They want to fly out in the rocks all they can. <laughs> Maybe it's just to get, you know, give in to populate the place. I don't know. All right, let's resume course here. We'll double back. And then we'll continue our efforts to try to find stuff. Danger. Radiation damage detected. All breach imminent. A few moments later. Okay, so I went down to get something to eat. Apparently we didn't steer around. Go to usually steers around the star. Okay, let me let let, let me pause here so I can review the footage. Wow, the autopilot didn't even try. Maybe that's a glitch from it being a custom system. It's not seeing it. All right, well, let's pick this up on the other side of, uh, clear that, clear, clear all waypoints. We have to go back here. We could do it this way. We could, we could just go right to here and then go down to here and then jump across to here and then zip back. There's probably not much here because they're just flying into the sun, but we could, you know, you can look. That that's kind of disappointing. Okay, well, I mean, normally your autopilot knows it's flying into a sun. And take steps to avoid. It will be really funny if after doing all this there's really nothing hidden in Florida. Danger. Radiation damage detected. Just patrol paths to nowhere. Come on, there's gotta be like a jump hole, something, right? If you just hit go to without anything selected, it'll just fly straight. Hmm. Just as I said, you know, a jump hole, something. Dock. We're gonna dock that to get it in the map.
and then we'll pop back through. Kapoof. So here we are. Zenos and their hawks. Where are we at here? For a jump hole. Again, not something you'd normally see in Hudson. Okay. There, we did a thing. We'll go here just to, you know, just completely do the systematic thing. I was thinking about leaving this as an exercise, you know, homework, a little homework uh, assignment. What's Bellamy Base? Wait a minute, what just popped up there? Okay, hold on, turn around, turn around, turn around. Completely turn around. Who's got Bellamy Base? Dog. It's like we picked that up off the reflection of something. It's like because we, we it uh, appeared as we're going the other way. It seemed to me. Probably just seemed to be. So it's an outcast based. But what did they write up about it? Let's see. First of all, you can buy a ship here. Let's find out what ship. Not that I'm buying one. Okay. The CSV. Not that we're buying anything, but let's make sure it's like not something. Stiletto or a CSV. No need for any of that. Can you get Krakens here? Not that we can, but. Seekers. No, it's it's uh, generally speaking liberty level weapons. Not much is known about this about this outcast base, other than rumors that they're operating a drug supply business from here. The Navy has plans to destroy the operation, but are still working out tactical plans. Are they running drugs? Well, outcasts are always running drugs. That's what they do. Carnivine, Carnivine. That's not a bad turnaround. Carnivine and light arms. What's her light, light arms to? Yeah, here in the early Your best bet might be to run light arms from here to Alaska. You just have to bounce back to New York. Be a little bit of a track, but there, there's a trade route there. Look at the bar. And we can fix the rep, get ourselves, turn ourselves into outcasts. No missions available. Too many players are, how many players are on? There's two of us and the other guy's in Shikoku. So I'm thinking they're just, they don't have it set up or something like that. Something's glitched. Okay, well, hey, at least we finally found a thing. Goose you. 
This probably would have been a lot more interesting if I'd gone vertically, at least for the first part of the video, but we'll, we're going we're gonna to keep up here. We're going to go this far and bounce back, and if you think there's something closer to the sun, you can look for it yourself. Now, this took me by such surprise that I actually, I didn't unmute the mic. So you missed out all of my, you know, actual surprise. Like, whoa, what's this? And then I realized it's probably not going to, you know, it, it's big, but it's not going to show up, you know, until you, uh, as far as being recognizable till 10K. One of the problems, though, you, is that... You shouldn't have been able to see through it until that point where it kind of reses in. That is an, uh, an unrealistic part of the game, but a lot of it's unrealistic. The scale is completely way the heck off from reality. At this point, I realized it was a racetrack, which I thought was a great idea. I still think it's a great idea. And people, you know, if you haven't seen this, there is a mission in the single player and there is a racetrack in Dublin. And the idea is, I think in the game you had to beat somebody through the racetrack to pass the mission. But this is a place that players can go and actually have races through the thing. And here I demonstrate that the infiltrator is a very, very poor choice. Because you just can't steer fast enough. It's, it goes too quickly. And the idea of these things is that you have to go through all of them, all the checkpoints. I got through some with the with the infiltrator, but mostly missing. Woo! I don't know. Maybe there's a way that the uh, the administrators could set up so that they actually turn on and off, and like the lights come on, you can tell who went through what, you can tell you know what's going on. I also tried to glitch into the dome, which there used to be a way if you snuggled up against it and then you changed characters back and forth, you could fly into it. I know I've done that on some of the domes. Could not do it here, but that's what you're going to see me attempt to do. Uh, the technique I used was right. But for some reason, just did not work this time around. And it loads in. And it's still doing it. Still, it's still physical. It could be that the Patriot's just too small to pull it off. Like, it, it's... It's, uh... If you have a slightly bigger ship, then some of it will clip in when you when you beam back in. You can get inside. I might have to try this with a bigger ship. That thing might just be a little too tiny. Just a little too tiny. Do what you want to do. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with that. But, let us uh, see here. At some point, I do come back in. I realize I'm running silent. <laughs> I'm not sure where that is. I don't remember where I was looking for. I was looking for that. I guess we're going to try and go to that point. To avoid flying into the sun here, we're gonna we're gonna double back a little bit. Oh, I, I knew this was gonna happen. There'd be a whole section where I wasn't talking, so we're just gonna have to voice that over later. And I did. Knew I would screw up the button at some point.
damage or radiation damage detected. Okay, let's let's set for the end of this patrol path here. Hopefully, we, we don't come too close to the sun. Because we know it's it's not going to end well if we do that. I think I think we've got enough range. This is Liberty Police, Omicron 18 bit freelancer Alpha 2 1. I'm scanning your cargo bay for contraband. You're clean. Okay, let's target this for right here just for completeness. Then we'll, we'll oh, cut around to the other side here. But you know what? Let's do this. Let's not do that. Let us check that waypoint. Then bounce around. It's a little less systemic, but we're you know, we're gonna figure it out. Systematic, systemic. Anyway. Let's bounce back here, just in case. Go to. Okay, this time we're going to head right to the end of that, that patrol route because, well, I mean, in, in between there you got trade lanes and stuff and plants. I don't think there's much hidden there. So we'll just head straight, a little bit less of a straight line across here. Let's go right there because I don't think here is probably going to be where you want to go. Then we'll duck it back down to here just so we miss the sun and then we'll, we'll check out these patrol routes. Thank you. 
Something zipped by there. I'm thinking I must have had some view from the train lane. That was trade lane speed stuff. We'll pop out over here. Set your waypoint right there. I'm thinking there's not much left to find. You never know. We've been pretty systemic going through everything. That's not saying I didn't miss anything. But that's the fun part of the whole thing, right? It gives you something to look forward to. Okay, are we going to need to duck out of this? Are we going to explode? Someone docked at a plant and went for something to drink. You gotta, you know, keep yourself in there. Come on. I think we're just missing the corona. Alright. I think we're good. And here we are. Anything? Oh, nope. Not much, really. We've really seen pretty much the whole map, so that's what you got, folks. All right, some cool things. This is something, you know, it'd be fun to take advantage of. We'd have to love to see if we can ponder ways on how to do that. 
But that's it. That's Florida. If there's anything that fell through the cracks, I leave that as an exercise to the viewer. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.